So the original trilogy was great, then their prequels came out, then they sucked, but then Disney bought Lucasfilms and J.J. Abrams is behind the camera to give us another film in Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So we've been waiting a long time for Star Wars to come back. We didn't know if it was ever going to come back, but now it did out of nowhere and we had to wait three years and now it's back. And with the main characters, we have John Boyega playing Finn and Daisy Ridley playing Rey. And I love them both. They're both completely opposite, but they had so much chemistry on screen. And that was probably the better part of the film. I love Ray's character initially. As soon as you saw her, you knew she was a strong female character. She was a grinder. She was a hustler. She's just doing what she has to do to survive. And then Finn, he's just trying to live his life. He's just trying to do the right thing, but sometimes chose the wrong path. And I think we all can relate to that. Another great thing about this film is everybody is back from the original cast, plus we have new characters and new joys that we have to get to know too. And I like how the film bounced back and forth while you're getting to know those characters and didn't stay too focused on one for a long period of time. Now one thing that was horrible about the prequels is it was so much CGI. It was a CGI fest, just a CGI vomit factor went all over all the sets and all over the camera and it just didn't make those films that good. But you don't have to worry about that now. Director J.J. Abrams took his time and planned everything out to give us as many practical effects as he possibly could. Now, of course, there was a lot of CGI in this film. All the practical effects worked for me, but not all the CGI. There was some CGI that was a little cartoonish and it didn't work, but that was only in a few aspects of the film and didn't ruin the whole thing for me. As far as the villain is concerned, Kylo Ren played by Adam Driver, I loved him to death. He was a badass villain. And no, he's not just another Darth Vader. He is his own incarnation of evil. And I think he did a great job with the role. I loved his costume. I loved his new tri-saber. I loved him playing with the force. He did a great job and he was a noble threat and did his thing. He represented for the dark side. As far as the whole story is concerned, I thought it was okay. The plot within the story was executed much better than the overall story. If you just sit back and look at the whole thing, I kind of wanted a little bit more. It's kind of on a manhunt to find someone or something, and I really wanted a little bit more out of the story, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. I mean, it's a great plot, especially towards the beginning of the film or the first half of the film. You know what's going on, you're following everything, everything is flowing smoothly, and you can't wait for it to get to the end. Some things that are hard to pull off in a film are comedic moments during serious times, and the film did a great job at that, especially with John Boyoga's character Finn. He wasn't cracking jokes, but he was able to give you real life reactions to whatever situation he was in, and it was genuine and it was pure, and it made me laugh. I mean, there was a lot of funny moments in this film. The only bad thing is towards the end of the film, those funny moments started coming on a little too much, hitting me over the head. I wanted his character to take things a little bit more seriously. It's not that he wasn't taking things seriously, it's just that it didn't flow with the film as smooth as it could. Something else that I loved about the film was just how they introduced all the characters from the past that you know. I mean, everything was great. I don't want to spoil it for you here, but just the way that the editing and the camera would pan around to show certain characters that we love in the past, I really did like that. It had a nice touch to it. As far as the action is concerned, I love pretty much all of that. It was really great. The effects were nice. There was perfect continuity in all the battles, and there was some real life stakes out there. I mean, they did crank things up a hell of a notch from the original trilogy that we have in the new trilogy, and I like that a lot. Now, I am a casual Star Wars fan. I am not a diehard Star Wars fan. I cannot name every planet, every system, and every type of ship. I have seen the original trilogy. I have seen the prequels, which I did not like. I saw the Clone Wars movie, half of it, and maybe two or three episodes of the Clone Wars. But as far as all the books and all the video games and the lore, I am not too familiar with that. Now, of course, everybody wants this film to be perfect. And is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it is definitely much better than those prequels. Some of the complaints that I have about the film is towards the end of the film, they got a little too jokey in serious moments. And at the same time, they kind of rehash some of the things that worked in the original trilogy and tried to redo that in this new trilogy. There also wasn't a good balance of power in the force. Some people 
or just now coming into age versus someone has been trained for quite a long time and if they're battling it should be no contest but they were kind of neck and neck and i really can't buy that but overall guys it was a great film i love pretty much all of it it's not a perfect film but not too many films out there are perfect if i had to rate this film out of a one out of ten i would give it an eight out of ten but guys that is just my opinion what did you think have you seen star wars the force awakens yet have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me that thumbs up and if you didn't like the video that's fine just let me know why in the comment section below and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching this on youtube go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get all the content that i have to provide in the past and in the future so guys thank you for tuning in i do appreciate it go ahead and give me that thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel if you would like a written review of this head over to the site find me on facebook instagram twitter all that good stuff and share the video i'm not gonna get mad if you share the video so guys thank you for tuning in and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion Peace.